Hi guys, it's Steph here. Welcome to another reading vlog. And this one is a little bit different because I asked Heather from Hair Booktubes to recommend me some books that she thought I should read. And this stemmed from a conversation that we had when we did the live stream on her channel. I'll leave that linked on the screen for you guys. And we're talking about our firsts in romance. So we were talking about different genres and books that we'd read. So from that live stream, I'd written down one of the books that I wanted to read that she'd recommended, which was Fury by Lauren Donner. And then I sent her a message and just said, what else do you want me to read? So she's given me a list of some contemporary books as well as some paranormal romance books, which I'm very excited about. All in all, I've got about eight recommendations total, so I can't put them all into one vlog, but I'm possibly gonna break this into two parts. So the contemporary recommendations that she gave me included Little Dove by Layla Frost, which I've heard her talk about a lot, The Hookup by Kristen Ashley, and The Fixer by Jessica Gaziella. So those are the contemporaries. The paranormal romance ones include Fury, which I'd already written down. She also recommended Dragonbound by Thea Harrison, Feral Sins by Suzanne Wright, Chase Lee Bitten by Lexi C. Foss, and also The Sacrifice by Jessica Gaziella. So I haven't quite decided which ones I'm gonna read in this video, but I know I'm definitely gonna start with Fury, which is the first book in the New Species series. And I've heard other people mention this as well. So I'm very excited to start that one. So stay tuned. Hi guys. So clearly I've just gotten out of the shower and I have not started Fury yet, but that is on the plans tonight. Thought I would share some books with you because I went book shopping today and I got a whole stack of review copies and some book orders in the mail. So today I was very excited. I got out of my apartment and I actually went to see Godzilla vs Kong with Kirsty and it was ridiculous and ridiculous fun. So I loved the experience. I have so many thoughts. I enjoyed it. Monsters destroying property as per usual. I'm happy. But after that, Kirsty and I went to Dimmicks and there's nothing like shopping with another book lover because no one bats an eyelid when you just start pulling books off the shelf and piling them up, them up in your hands as you walk an entire circuit of a bookstore and walk away with books. Because I knew that we were planning on going into the bookstore, I'd already thought about picking up a copy of Actor Age Eve Brown as a physical copy because I loved this book. I don't have the other two books in the series, but this was my favorite. So I want to put this one on my shelf. We have The Outlaws, Scarlet and Brown by Jonathan Stroud, which I have no idea what it's about. I just picked it up because it's Jonathan Stroud and he wrote Lockwood and Co. And I'm a fangirl of that. So we're going to give this one a shot. And then there was Ariadne by Jennifer Saint, which I, now do vaguely remember hearing about a while ago, but I saw it on the shelf and it's very pretty. It's been a while since I read a book about Greek myths, so this one's gonna get read soon. Also my order of Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne turned up and it is a signed copy, which is very exciting. So I was glad to find that one. And then I have a whole stack of review copies. The first one from Alan Nunwin being The Way of the Agozi by Sebastian D. Castell. This is a prequel to the Spellslinger series. And then from Scholastic, I received one little grade book and two picture books. So there is 200 minutes of mystery by Jack Heath. These are 10 short stories, each one designed to be read in 20 minutes. And they have a countdown a bit like the 20, style of 24, where you've got the countdown clock. So you've actually got the times on the side, which is really cool. And then the two picture books include The Gentle Genius of Trees by Philip Bunting, which is sort of a gorgeous illustrated nonfiction book. I have to move the camera back a little bit because then I also have Move That Mountain by Kate and Joel Temple and illustrated by Terry Rose Baton. This is a story that can be read all the way through one way and then you flip it over and you read the same story backwards and it tells a different story. I haven't read it yet but I'm really excited too. So I'm going to put these away. I'm going to have some dinner. I'm going to watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier and then I'm going to start Fury. I'm supposed to be reading but I'm currently having to you know talk things through about episode four of Falcon and the Winter Soldier because oh my god what just happened? Okay so I just finished Fury. I contemplated stopping and updating you throughout the reading process and then I decided that I didn't want to stop reading and I just kept reading so that happened. Fury is the first book in the New Species series. It follows a group of genetically created people who have had their DNA spliced with animals and they've been kept in this facility where they've been experimented on and so on and so forth. So it's all very horrible and that's how the book opens, including a sexual assault against a male scene. The heroine walks in and stops this assault from happening and in doing so also betrays, and in doing so betrays the new species man that she's saving. 
but she does it because she is trying to get out information about what is being done with these experiments. She is able to help the authorities to track down these facilities and release all of the new species people. And that's sort of like the opening chapter. Then we continue and Ellie, who was the nurse who'd gone in to help Fury, uh, ended up working for the group that is now providing a safe place for the new species individuals to live. And then she comes across Fury again and he is mad, 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 because he was obviously beaten after she intervened and saved his life. The whole thing is their relationship, their mates, and how he deals with being angry with her and still being attracted to her, and then how they navigate this very awkward situation because the new species order are somewhat controversial to humans and there is a pure humans protest group that constantly intervenes. And then when Ellie and Fury start their relationship, obviously people get very upset about that and try and take action against it. So it's all very dramatic and it was great. Did I buy the second book for my Kindle? Yeah, I did do that, but I'm not going to read it because I've got to read so many other books that Heather sent me. For anyone who's new to my channel and wondering how I do my filming setup and how I get my lighting set up as well, because I know a couple of people have told me that my lighting is generally pretty good. I have two box lights set up. I usually turn the overhead lights on, they're on at the moment. And I also have a window that gets really good light and that's used depending on how bright it is. So it depends on how much I open the blinds. And then I have a mirror that faces the window. So I get a really good reflection. But I'm filming a day early. Normally I film on Sundays, but I'm filming on a Saturday because one, my hair's all done and I'm dressed up and ready to go because my cousin's having her 21st tonight. So I just thought I might as well do my makeup and film. So yeah, let's do this. It's like 4.30 p.m. and my cousin's 21st doesn't start till seven and I'm going with my parents tonight. So I have time to kill until 6 p.m. I'm going to do some reading because it's the first thing I've read today. Normally I read more on a Saturday, but that's okay. I am going to start Sacrifice by Jessica Gadziella, which I believe is a paranormal romance motorcycle club book. Maybe? We're going to find out. Okay, so I'm up to chapter five and so far we have a witch who has become a sacrifice to a group of demons who have a motorcycle club, I think. I think that's where this is going. I should probably have looked this up beforehand. When she is told that she's the sacrifice, she doesn't really know what that means for her, except that eventually we find out she's been kept in a basement and that the, her witch clan has a deal with these demons that every however many years they send them a new sacrifice. And this year's sacrifice, Lenore, is just really sad and so it's raining all of the time and the demons don't like it. And so Lai, who is the hero, goes down to try and make her stop it raining. And she's like, well, I'm in a basement. So he takes her up, lets her have a bath, gives her food. And that's about where we're up to. So we shall see what happens with the rest of this. Hi guys. So I'm back from the 21st. I'm pretty tired, but I only have 35% of the sacrifice left to go. So I thought that I might finish that before I go to sleep and then maybe read the other two books for this vlog tomorrow. So we will, fingers crossed, see how we go. This is a very weird angle and I'm speaking very quietly. I don't know why there's no one else here. And now there's a hair in my face. All right, let's get to reading. So we're back with this weird awkward angle and I finished The Sacrifice and that was a whole lot of fun for a random paranormal romance motorcycle story. <laughs> So I really enjoyed that. So we eventually got to Lenore and Lai having their faded mates situation and their shifters in the book. And I'm very curious about Minos and Dale and I might continue this one as well. I don't know. We'll see how I go. But for now, I am going to go to bed because I am very tired. So I will check in with you guys when I pick up the next book for this vlog. Good morning, guys. It is 8.30 a.m and I'm gonna go for a walk while it's not raining. So the sun's just come out, it's been pouring with rain. 
all morning. So I'm going to go for a walk, but then today is a couch day and I'm going to keep reading books. Okay, so I am nearly 60% of the way through The Fixer and damn you, Heather, now I've got another series to read, for goodness sake. So this one is by Jessica Gadziella. It's the first book in the professional series. Hold on, let's sit up. I'm sitting in a different spot to normal. And it's about Avon, who is being stalked at the beginning of the book, and she's very concerned that it's going to escalate. And so she ends up trying to find people who could help her because the cops have been no help. And so she ends up stumbling across this guy called The Fixer. And she calls his office and are basically told they don't, they don't take her kind of jobs, but they'll give her name to uh, Quentin when he returns to work. She goes off to the local motorcycle club, she buys a gun, and then the guy gets into her house that night and things happen and she needs the fixer to come and fix the situation. And it's great. This is the kind of romantic suspense type action romance book that I like. And now I have to read all of them because I like all of the other side characters, especially Kai. Kai is a sweetheart. I want to read his book. But yes, I'm going to try and finish this book before I do some other things today. Okay, so I just finished The Fixer by Jessica Gadziella. Loved it. Five stars. We'll be continuing the rest of the series at some point when I don't have 15 billion other things to read, but it's on my list because that book, that's the kind of book that I like. I have jobs to go and do, but then I'm going to read the last book for this vlog when I get back, which I haven't decided what I'm going to read yet. I'll let you know when I decide. So I'm making myself film a video, which is my how I organize my Kindle. So everything's set up, kitchen's a mess, table's a mess, there's laundry everywhere. But instead of reading, I'm gonna film. So hopefully this won't take very long. Okay, so the video is finished. We'll see how it goes. I should also possibly be editing videos, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna read the last book for this vlog, which I have decided is going to be Chase Liebin by Lexi C. Foss. Yes, Lexi C. Foss, which is a paranormal romance vampires and lichens maybe. All right so I'm nearly 30% of the way through the book and it's a very interesting paranormal romance world. So it's obviously set in sort of an alternate future earth and somehow vampires and lichens have gotten in charge and humans are now kept as pets and for food and whatnot so no rights whatsoever. And the heroine Juliet has been sold as a blood virgin at auction to Darius and Darius has some kind of plan going on to, I don't know, get power or keep someone out of power or whatever. And Juliet has been raised to be subservient to vampires and her entire purpose is to be bought and sold at auction, to be drunk for her blood and then possibly sent back for breeding purposes. So lots of problematic content, but my god is this a compelling read. So I'm going to keep going because I'm 30% of the way in after, you know, half an hour. So Hopefully this will be another quick read. Okay, so I just had a shower, that's why I'm so pink, because I went for another walk. And I've got 20% left of Chasely Bitten, so I'm looking forward to finishing this book. I feel for Juliet, she keeps being confronted by things that completely throw her worldview, and she's starting to grow her spine, which is fantastic. But yes, I can just tell that there's gonna be something that happens at the end of this book that's probably gonna make me wanna continue the series which would make four series that I now need to continue. Yeah, okay, so let's finish this book. So I finished Chastely Bitten, which means I have finished the four books that I was planning on reading for this part one of Heather Made Me Read It vlog. I'm rather proud of myself, to be honest. So I had a thoroughly enjoyable reading a weekend with the four books. So to recap, the first book that I read was Fury by Lauren Donna, which was book one in the New Species series and is a Faded Mates paranormal romance story, and I gave that one four out of five stars. Then I read The Sacrifice by Jessica Gaziella, which was the first book in that series and is a demon motorcycle club paranormal romance story, which was ridiculous and fun, and I gave that one four out of five stars. Then I read The Fixer by Jessica Gaziella, which is the first book in the professional series, and I loved this one. I love paranormal romance stories, but The Fixer, which is a romantic suspense, maybe, really got my attention. I think it was just the characters. I really, really love them. And I may or may not have bought the rest of the series to read. And I gave that five out of five stars. And then I finished with Chase Lee Bitten by Lexi C. Foss, which is another paranormal romance story. This one about a world where vampires and 
lichens are the ruling class and humans are seen as pets and slaves and food sources only. And it's about one vampire who is doing a whole lot of political maneuvering and purchases a human woman with the intent of using her to forward his political career and use her as a political device. And they end up falling in love. And I gave that one four out of five stars. So all in all, a very successful reading weekend. So thank you very much to Heather for these recommendations. I will leave her channel linked down below as well as links to all of these books. And as I said at the start of this vlog, she did give me a total of eight recommendations. So I do have another four books that I will pick up sometime in the near future for another vlog. So stay tuned for that. If you got the whole way through this vlog, I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know. If you don't want to leave me a comment but you want to let me know that you were here, what kind of emoji could you use? Oh, you know what? Go and use the demon emoji since I read a demon paranormal romance story. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you're in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.